Hey up, Mr. Josh here, and welcome to video number, I think it's 11 for listening and understanding. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to click the link underneath this video that will take you to my website. There, you can download a question sheet. Under the title, you'll see a link to YouTube. Watch that video as many times as you like, answer the questions, then come back here to see what you got right and wrong. So here we are again, video number 11. How's life with you? Everything good? No? Oh well, never mind. I'm sure it'll get better in the future. So in this video, we have actors who refuse to kiss. And this comes from the YouTube channel Nikki Swift, where she does like top tens of famous people and this, that and the other and exposés. It's quite an interesting channel sometimes. I did find this video, which amused me, so I thought I would do a little video project of it. So, without any further ado, I have my trusty tablet, let's get into this. Actors who refuse to kiss other actors on screen. Question number one. Nikki, the narrator, says many of us would love the opportunity to make out with the most popular Hollywood actors. What does it mean to make out in this example? So, in the Hollywood sense of making out, it basically means kissing and cuddling done in things like the backseat of the car, in the cinema, on the sofa in front of the telly, all that sort of stuff. It's sort of like the pre-sex amble. Question number two. Nikki says some actors refuse to make out on screen due to steadfast dedication to their religion. What does it mean to have steadfast dedication? Well, if you have steadfast dedication to anything, and we're not just talking religion, it can be philosophy or whatever, it basically means you have 100% loyalty to that belief. You will not change from it, you will always stick by those beliefs. That is steadfast dedication. Something I've got to confess, I don't really have a lot of. In fact, practically none. Yeah, I probably should do something about that, shouldn't I? <sighs> Never mind. Moving on. Question three. Neil McDonough is shown as the first example of an actor that will not kiss on screen. What is his reason for not doing it? So for him, it is his Christian beliefs. He only wants to kiss his wife in the future. Even kissing another actress in make-believe is too close to reality and would be uh, infidelity for him meaning he would be unfaithful to his wife. And funny thing is, this is going to crop up more than a couple of times in this video. Hollywood seems to be obsessed with religion. I don't know why. Question four. Which show was Neil McDonough fired from for refusing to film love scenes? The show he was fired from was a TV series called Scoundrels. Question five. Denzel Washington refused to kiss the actress that was named the world's most beautiful five times. Who was the actress in question? So the actress in question was Julia Roberts of Pretty Woman fame, amongst other things. I didn't know she'd been named the most beautiful woman in the world five times. For me, yeah, no. Her mouth is way too big and she's got far too many teeth. It'd be scary getting that close to her. Yeah. Question six. In an interview, Denzel Washington implies that his reasons were to do with not offending black women. True or false? This is absolutely true. True. He says that black women are not often seen as objects of desire and for him to be kissing a white woman on screen wouldn't look good and most of his audience is black women so best not to offend your core audience is it? Saying that I'm still trying to find who my core audience is. Answers on a postcard. Question 7. Candice Cameron Bure says that she doesn't like being intimate on camera but is getting more comfortable with it the older she gets. True or false? This is false. It's more uncomfortable, not more comfortable. So the more she does it, the less she likes it. Funnily enough, I have a similar reaction to any form of studying. Question eight. Is her husband okay with seeing her doing intimate scenes on camera? No, he's not. In fact, not only does he not go to the studios anymore, but he won't even watch television programs that she's acting in. That's how much it freaks him out these days. Which I can kind of see his motives. I'm not sure how I would feel about seeing my other half what about you? Would you do it? Question nine. What type of role does Kevin Hart believe he can't do because he can't get 100% into it? So for poor old Kevin here, he can't stand the idea of being gay, which you would think like in these modern times that actors would be okay with playing a gay character, but no, not for him. He just can't get into the role. There's a joke in there somewhere, but we're not going there. Question 10. Who does Kevin Hart kiss in the film Central Intelligence? So Kevin Hart kissed Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Although, if that short clip in the video is him kissing Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I don't think it, no, seriously, that wasn't even a kiss. That was like accidental contact. Seriously, I've been more intimate with people in lifts by accident. 
Question 11. Kirk Cameron met his wife on the set of which TV sitcom? So that was the sitcom Growing Pains. And if you got this question wrong, go outside and flagellate yourself. Because think about this, you didn't even need to watch the video, you could just Google it. So if you didn't get an answer to this, bad, bad you. Question 12. Kirk Cameron refused to film a love scene with his co-star in a film. How did the producers resolve the problem? So basically the producers had to get his real wife, dress her up to look like the on-screen wife, and then film everything in silhouette, that is like an outline, so that no one could tell the difference. That's a lot of work to go to for one scene in a movie. Couldn't they just rewrite it? Question 13. According to Cameron, should wives try to change the men they marry? His answer, in a very long and convoluted way, was no, they should not. They should love, honour, obey, and follow their masters into the flames. Which is a bit of an old-fashioned belief these days. Whatever happened to equal rights and what have you, but hey-ho, such is life. You wouldn't want to be married to him, would you? Obey. Huh. I haven't obeyed anyone in years. 14. What did Janet Jackson demand of Tupac Shakur before kissing him in the film Poetic Justice. So the thing that she wanted was for him to have an AIDS test, which in this day and age may seem like a bit of an overreaction. But you've got to remember when this film was made, it was at the height of the hysteria over the AIDS virus. It was still very new, no one really knew how you got it or whatever. I mean, there was a belief that just drinking from a glass of water from an AIDS sufferer was enough to give you AIDS. So you can sort of understand her reaction. Question 15. Janet Jackson was worried she could possibly receive a deadly infection by kissing a stranger with a risky sexual history. True or false? Basically true for all the reasons I just talked about in the other question. Question 16. Farwad Khan would not kiss on screen because he didn't want to compromise his vow of chastity. What is a vow of chastity? If you take a vow of chastity, you basically refuse any kind of sexual activity until you are married. Which seems like a very crazy thing to do these days, but hey-ho, if that's what rocks your boat. Does Fawad Khan think he will do intimate scenes on camera in the future? Well, he kind of said yes and he kind of said no. He says, you know, I, I don't want to say 100% no because things can always change. So, yeah, maybe he will. I guess it all comes down to how sexually frustrated he is at the time. Question 18. Lindsay Lohan refused to kiss Charlie Sheen in Scary Movie 5 and even insisted on a body double for the scenes. True or false? This is true. Mostly because the producer of the film did a whole load of rewrites at the last minute that she wasn't aware of and was suddenly told, guess what? You've got to get jiggy with Charlie Sheen on camera. Yeah, wasn't very keen on that. Question 19. Did Charlie Sheen harbour any grudges about Lindsay Lohan's demands? No, he didn't. And to prove that he didn't, he even lent her $100,000 when she was having problems with the income tax people in America. And to be fair to Lindsay Lohan, seeing that Charlie Sheen now has HIV himself, I guess you can't really blame her. Question 20. Who used Chinese herbs every day during the film of the movie The Spectacular Now? So that was the actress Shaney Woodley who used to use Chinese herbs just before she needed to kiss her on-screen partner, which was really nice of her. And final question, number 21. What did the two stars do to offend each other just before a kissing scene? So the two stars would deliberately eat things that would piss off the other person. So she would eat Chinese herbs and he would drink a whole load of Gatorade. Never drunk Gatorade, so I've no idea what that tastes like. So anyway, there we go, another video done. I hope you got some useless information out of it, or maybe even some useful information out of it. Stick around for next Thursday where there will be another video on a different subject coming to a laptop near you. Bye for now.